Hello everybody, it's Margaret and you know what time it is. It is time to take a look at some more coffee mugs. I've been picking up more and more mugs to flip on eBay because they bring a nice profit. And so I thought we would take a look and see what mugs we found at the Goodwill. But before we do that, go down there and hit that subscribe button and the bell next to it so you're notified when I put out new videos. And leave me a comment down below and let me know what mugs you've been picking up lately. All right, so here we go. We are at a different Goodwill this time. The prices are still a bit wacky, but there were some some good pickups here. So look at all these mugs. There were like rows and rows and rows. It was kind of bananas. A little overwhelming. But I did find a few that I uh, was able to pick up to bring home. Some of them end up being ones that I'm going to keep. Um, but, so here's this first one. It's like a lion. He's kind of a hipstery lion. So let's take a look at eBay. These are eBay, not sold yet, but hipster coffee mug. They didn't put the brand name in there. The brand name is Global Marketplace, uh, as you see on the bottom one. These are ones that are up for sale. So let's see about the ones that are sold. So there was one that sold for five bucks. I personally think I'd be able to get more for this mug. Um, I just think it's pretty cool. So I'm going to, I did end up picking it up, but I, I set it down there. This one, I don't think I found one exactly like this one. Maybe I did. Oh yeah, I did. Okay. Um, so here's this one, this one with the top hat deer. And while they are not selling for that much, I don't know what it is that my gut instinct tells me that I might be able to get more for those mugs than they have them listed for. So I did pick up the lion and the deer. Um, let's see if I click on sold for just a second. Yep, yeah, I do. Okay, so let's take a look at the solds for the deer in the top hat. And then we found the exact match. Uh, so what I'm going to do is see if I can find a better way to keyword that um, on the description. All right, so th this was really interesting. This mug right here, you see $3.99. But it also said $3.99 for the set, which is a lot better. It said $3.99 for the set. So that I would have been able to get all four of those for that $3.99, which would have made them a dollar a piece, which is a fair price if the return on the mug had been better. So I'll show you in just a second. Those are really cute mugs, though. <clears throat> Pardon me. Yeah, $3.99 for the set of those. And let's take a peek at eBay. As you can see, there's four pieces there selling for 25 bucks. There were quite a few of them up there. Um, so here, one is up for $12.99. When I click on the sold items, though, you will see, yeah, there were none. So for it having so many up there already for sale, and the fact that I would have had to buy, buy um, all, all four of them for a dollar a piece, I decided not to. I, you know how I feel about <laughs> lining up stuff too. It just it's a weird thing for me, but I'm gonna have to get over it. I looked up those pineapple mugs, but now I don't think I showed it on here. All right, so it's just some general type mugs. This one's got some scripture on it, and what else do we find here? We need to talk about the different styles of mugs. This one didn't end up being a mug, but it was four bucks. I did look that one up while I was there, but it wasn't selling for that much. I am started looking at the bottom of some of these solid colored mugs because I, as I've been doing some research, I have found some that are selling for a fair price. So I still kind of peek at the bottom of those, even when they look just kind of like, meh, kind of blah. This one would have been cool if it weren't so messed up, but it's just a, it was a big mess. Cute one, but again, meh. There are so many Christmas mugs out there, y'all. It would have to be a hot hot commodity Christmas mug. Okay, so I was kind of excited about these Reese's mugs. That one's got a little little bit of a flaw in it. And then I started looking them up and was, yeah, no, they weren't going for as much as I was hoping because it seems like they would do better, but no. Maybe because I like Reese's so much, I, I guess. But I will say that the first problem I had is I misspelled Reese's when I first typed it in, so not that many showed up. So I think that would be something to consider because I spelled Reese's with a C instead of an S, and I was like, this is weird. I remember seeing more when I looked it up in the store, and then I realized, oh my gosh, I'm, I misspelled Reese's. 
So, but that's something to consider because if somebody else goes along and puts a recess in and they misspell it, so here you see now there are 80 sold listings and they're, you know, not that much, honestly. Five, I mean, that one's $14.99, that one's fair. But overall, they were mostly under $10. So I did not end up getting those. However, if I, like I, I always say, well, if I'd seen it at a garage sale for a quarter, I probably would have picked it up. Um, two bucks, who, well, how do you make money on that? That's what I want to know. Two dollars? I don't know, I don't, I don't know. Anyway, moving on, I think you get it. Um, so, that, that lid, I was excited for a second because I thought it was a cool lidded mug, but no, it was not. It didn't fit that. The Tweety Bird mug, I do end up getting this. It's a really tall Tweety Bird Warner Brothers mug, and there's that. So, it was four dollars. Um, but I do show, I liked this mug so much too, that little flat handled one. So here are some Tweety Bird mugs. These are, were these sold? These are not sold yet. But I was looking, looking for mine. Mine had the blue, kind of blue swirly background. So some of those looked okay, but those weren't sold. Here are some sold ones. And as you can see, the blue one right there, $21.14. That one had free shipping on it. I don't do free shipping, but that's okay. Um, here's another for 20 bucks for shipping. I did pick this one up. Uh, and I, let's see if I go back and look at um, the the unsold one. See if I find the blue. Oh, I do, because I remember typing it in. Hang on one second. So what I want to see is if there are more of the blue ones. And look, they spelled it Tweety with a D. Both of the ones, look, Tweety, Tweety, Tweety. They have it spelled three different ways. Both of the blue ones that were up there spelled Tweety with a D. So I think that's something to consider. See, they have Tweety with a D. Okay, so I took that off to see if that mug was up there still. And look, I'm putting, I think I'm going to switch it out to a D. Yeah, I do. I do. <laughs> Obviously, I recorded this beforehand. And there we have it. It's up there for $4.99. I will still list mine up there for probably about $20, but it was interesting to see all the different spellings of Tweety. And I mentioned that when I spelled the recess one, and I've got to figure out a way to make sure that I can get that wrong spelling in there in case somebody misspells it without it being misleading. So that's something I'm thinking about, I'm trying to figure out how to, how to handle that. Okay. So moving along, we've got Grand Canyon Star Party. We've got some, that was a Bone China one with a holly. I looked those up, but they, they weren't really doing very well. I can't, I might have dropped that in later because I see another one in a minute. So I look at these. These are kind of cool. These, they look like uh, Louisiana irises. And that's a, a buck ninety nine. I can't remember if it said set on the bottom or not. Moving right along, we are looking at some more solid ones. Let's look down here. I think that might be a Starbucks one back there. I don't, I'll get to it in a second, I think. A uh, Sang mug, that one was pretty cool, kind of heavy, like stoneware. This mug, oh my gosh, I end up buying this. There's two of them. I buy them both. They were five bucks a piece. This was one of those that, like, I don't care that it's not selling for a lot. I want these mugs to greet me in the morning because they make me happy. I just think they're so funny. And yeah, they're not selling for a lot, so I did buy both of them for five bucks. If I wanted to just get my money back, I could probably sell them and just break even. But as you can see, they're really not selling for very much. I just thought they were so fun. So I got them. Um, and I think they'll be fun when I have visitors over, you know, and I serve them coffee and like, I don't know, what could I stick in that mouth? Like, I, I want to put something funny in there for my sister when she comes to visit. Like, they've got a cookie in there. I mean, I could shove a bunch of donut holes in there, something like that, and just, like, donut holes coming out of his mouth. Come on, how awesome would that be? All right, so this Texas uh, Lone Star mug, is, I actually really like this mug, but it was 4 bucks. Didn't get it. Like, I need, I don't need any more mugs in my house. But these were pretty cool. Buck ninety nine. I just struggled sometimes getting mugs that are that expensive, you know. I've got to find a better honey hole for mugs because this one is just, it's killing me. Um, I'm going to be in Houston in a couple of weeks and the thrift store that was right near my house there 
was um, the mugs were a quarter each at that like charity shop. So I may hit it up while I'm there. All right, keep on keeping on. That one's kind of nice. That one, I didn't see the maker on that. I flipped it too fast. So let's see what else we've got here. That one was kind of cool. It's a three dimensional sunflower on it. It was a rest one, but they still wanted four. Four dollars, y'all. Um, let's see. Moving on. There's the other one. Yeah, this guy comes home with me. <laughs> they, they both did. All right, that's just a tall tumbler. Yeah, even some of just the plain. And those are little egg cups. I don't know if they have them for the set for all of those egg cups. But, um, that's a nine cents. That's not too bad, but it was just kind of a plain mug. Here's one. It's all scuffed up. I like quote ones, but, but with them being all scuffed, yeah, $4 for the set of those might have been okay, but they're just plain. Plain, plain, plain. So, in a minute, here we go. Let's see if I get to it. There's a bunch of white ones. I'm trying to scoot them over without breaking anybody. There we go. So, here's a Mickey Mouse Disney mug. And it's a vintage one. It's from Applause. I did not get this mug because... One, there were quite a few applause mugs up there. They weren't selling for very much. And then, I don't know, the market is super saturated for Mickey mugs, so it has to be a really specific mug that's doing well, I think, because from what I can find, those ones, the applause ones, just weren't doing that great. Uh, here you can see, like, $4. These are the, oh, I didn't click on the solds. I thought I clicked sold. Maybe the other ones were sold and these ones were not. So I was trying to find the exact mug. I don't think I ever end up finding the same exact mug. Let's see if I pull it up. No. So I didn't end up getting it. I just left it behind. Okay, let's see who is next. So this one was pretty cool. I was really tempted to get it. I liked the artwork on it. Except for the deli part. I don't know why the word part bothered me. But I didn't end up getting it because I wasn't quite sure how I would be able to list it and market it. Uh, and again, price. So, let's see. These are just some plain white mugs. Mm, that's a mainstay. I think that's like a Walmart or a Target brand. And good to be the queen. $4. False Graph is a fair, a fair brand to look at. Bush Gardens. That one might, I didn't end up looking that one up, but that one might have been a good one to look at. I mean, ser seriously, Schlumberger, they're going to put $4 on that mug. I liked this one because it was a vintage, like, 80s looking one that I'm sure they, in the 80s, we thought looked super modern, you know. And I did end up looking up these Holly mugs. Let's see if I did the research on here. Um, but, but there were so many that, and they really weren't selling for that much, so I didn't end up getting those either. Yeah, I liked that milk glass, but this one was not a very desirable mug. Fancy that. Okay, so the Smuggler's Notch Vermont mugs, I think there was one of them up there, not even like that style, but it was just, again, it was about two dollars two or three dollars I think it was really low really really low beauty that's another one of the false graph ones tell me if you see any that you think you would have picked up that I should have picked up or I just I've got to find a better mug honey hole around here I think too because where I where I'm located there's not as many like small charity type stores there's a couple but it's mostly Savers, Goodwill. I need to go back to the Savers. I think the prices were a little bit better there. Cause this good, I've got a lot of good stuff at this particular Goodwill, but oh my gosh. The mugs are still out of control. Now, this GE mug, I kind of am kicking myself for not getting because I looked it up and there were some GE mugs that were selling for a fair price. So these are sold. There's a GE mug that sold for 20 bucks up there, y'all. Why didn't I get it? I just didn't. So, 
I'm looking at the unsold ones here so you can kind of get an idea. So 15, there's one up there, 28, 16. I mean, that's a fair profit, $10 on that one. And I don't see the light blue one that I had there at the Goodwill. There's one that's up. I know these ones aren't sold, but the one that did sell, I'm like, yeah, should have gotten it. So, and then this, I love computers. I mean, this is a early, like 80s style again. I think this is a Hallmark, yeah, Hallmark mug. And there were three of them up there, right around the $20 mark. But there were none that were sold. But somebody might be looking for something like that on Etsy, which I could have cross-posted to. So I probably should have gone ahead and picked that mug up. All right, back to the mugs. Jim Beam, that's another one. I did look it up on the spot, but it, was, it wasn't doing very well. People, I guess they don't want to drink their mug. Their Jim Beam out of a mug. I don't know. Anyway, so, okay, this is a Starbucks mug, and it was two bucks. I mean, it's not bad for compared to some of these were four dollars here, but that particular Starbucks mug is not selling for that great. There were a couple sold, six fifty, and I think the other one was thirteen. There are, and on top of that, there are quite a few up there, so it's not one that seems to be really desirable so I didn't end up getting it and I prefer like because I think this was 2000 or 2012 so I would not be able to put that on Etsy so something like that it's like I wouldn't mind as much if there was a lot of them if I could cross post it to Etsy as well because then I have more eyes on it and if there's that many of them up there eh, I don't want to wade into that for a low profit coffee bean I liked this New York, New York, New York mug. They wanted $4 for this, okay? I would have bought that in a heartbeat, but I wasn't going to pay 4 bucks for it. No way. All right, these more mugs were pretty cool, but there was no brand that I could see on them. They were just more. All right, awesome. I always want more. Uh, and those are cute, the little shoes, but I didn't get those either. There's another one of the Christmas holly. They're, I guess the set may have all been there, but they were so spread out. Go confidently in the direction of your dreams. Live the life that you imagined. Beautiful. There is a St. Louis mug. What else have we gotten here? Eh. I know you see it. I know I see it too, and I'm trying to play it cool. There it is. All right, so Muppets. I liked this mug a lot. However, big chip right there, boom. And they wanted $4 for it. So I didn't get it, but I, I know I looked it up. And apparently this black and white style with the Muppets mug, there's like a Kermit one where you see where he's all green. Well, there's another one where it's like that. And it's like Miss Piggy is the one that's highlighted. So here we have it. And let's see. So there's the full set, Disney Muppets, Miss Piggy porcelain set. Um, and they went $16.99. So yeah, it was just they weren't selling for that much. And it was shipped. So let's see if I go click on, oh, or let's see if I deselect sold. This is where I start realizing, oh, there's a Miss Piggy one. There's a Kermit one. So here's the pink one with the Miss Piggy. And it's sold for $11 with free shipping. That surprises me. Because I love the Muppets. <laughs> Again, it's not all about who who love what you love. It's about what sells, right? Let's see. And we've talked about these Campbell Soup Kid mugs before. These ones don't do so well. They're, if you find one when it's just like a big giant face of one of theirs, then those ones do a bit better. So here's some just like a stoneware set. And we're getting to, mm, yeah, this one was kind of scuffed up too. And then that pretty much wrapped it up. All right, let me know what kind of mugs you've picked up lately and if you saw any here that you thought I should have picked up, but I didn't. And I will talk to you guys on the next one. Don't forget to go down there and hit that subscribe button and say hello and let me know that you are here because we don't want to miss any videos about making money, selling mugs, jewelry, or whatever else we can sell on eBay to make a profit. And I will talk to you later.